Kom nu! Kan vi göra i pasta? Ja, han var han var roll. Cheese roll. Tip roll nu. There you go. Aye aye folks, we're on. Nice to see you. To see you. To choose somebody else's lines, we're not going to. You see, we didn't finish it. At least we didn't finish it. But we're here at the coffin tonight. We sure are. Mr. Boozy Bill Hiccups. And Senior Siri Steve. Senior. 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 Yes, I've seen you. Seen my everything. Since we're on the tequila tonight, it's a happy people talking. There you go. Cheers. Tequila. I know. But half of it's tequila, so we're doing it by. There's triple sec in there as well. It's a big drink. Cheers, guys. All the best to you. I know. We, we need something to make this cheery. Mm. Why is that, Steve? Because the sick low twos and the ones and the ones and the twos have been. <laughs> One of one is Siglo. Three! Un de trois. Either. Siglo. Three. three. Uns dos tres. What are you thinking? What are you thinking, guys? What do you think about the last two? Crap, isn't it been? It's been awful. Well, my, my cigars have been terrible, I'm sorry. And again today, you see, we're taking out the Siglo three. There they go. And right away, Two absolutely completely different cigars. The girths are but much and such the same. We bet you that there's a light one and there's a slightly darker reddishy shaded one. And they're slightly different girths, they're the same length, slightly different girths, supposed to be 6.1 inches long by 42 girth. It's called the Siglo 3. We're not going to tell you how it was introduced, we're going to tell you how they smoke. So let's See, where we go? <laughs> I don't know which one I would want. Would I want the, would I want the dark one? Because the, does the dark one mean, the reddishy one mean it's newer? Or, and does the lighter one mean that it's slightly more aged? Because of the same label, which is the more modern label from maybe about three, five years ago. I so will not. We will, we will, but we have no idea. But the Siglo range four or five, okay. Because my memory just mm -hmm. really from the sampler pack we have, mm -hmm. the band is a distinctly different colour. Ah, because it's, it's all these. It's older one, but but that's for another day. That's a five, you're saying? The four and the five. A four or the five? I can't quite so remember. I, from memory, I think because it's a five's the old one. I've I've, I've got the. I've got the, the, the bags here, guys. As much as, as you we can do. get to see. And, and right now, I ain't listening in what's in there right now. It's this other ones. We'll approach the colour of the bands next time round. So we'll wait to have a punch up to see which one we're. No, it's not a punch up because either way, you which one would you choose? There you go. Which one would you choose? I'll give you the choice. There you go. Take, take the one on the left. Or the one on the right. That fool, you did it. Because that's the one on the left and that's the one on the right. See? All of a sudden I'm a magician. Which one would you choose? Um, I love that one. Okay. Would you have other one that is? No, no problemo. But I will say it looks slightly... The ring gauge is slightly... There's more in that one. Than this one? Yeah, yeah. 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 I, I, I have been hearing you, but I haven't been lost them because I I've been I enjoying it. The booze too much. Because your cigar is just almost like a non event. Boozy Bill. Heck up. Boozy. It's like a non event because I ain't, I ain't looking forward to this. I've, I've spent a lot of money yeah. in these cigloids so far. I wish I'd just give it to charity or something. I'm having mine naked tonight because the band just fell clean off. So I'm going to have my cigar naked. It's a Corona. Oh, the cigar's naked or you're going to be naked? Well, if you want me naked, just. Tweet me and I'll. We want to pause this, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Naked Steve. That's enough of that. There <laughs> yeah. There you go. There's Steve's bits for you. Hold on. I'm going to pause that. Hold on. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. 
<laughs> yeah, <laughs> pubic hair and back in my throat. <laughs> what I edited him to do. <laughs> no editing at all. This fit behind my ear, yeah. <laughs> no, I know. Not big enough lungs. However, nice to have you back, to have you back. <laughs> we don't finish that one either. <laughs> you can tell that we've had a little bit too much tequila earlier there. Only because we're having a hands of a cigar. We still would get pissed. We, oh, yeah. we never get pissed. We never ever 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 get pissed. We get boozy. We get and naked. We, and we get boozy up and Steve takes his clothes off. <clears throat> Back the cigar. I'm gonna cut and clip mine while Bill has a wee bladder. I'm gonna cut and clip mine. It was well oh, actually. Yeah. Have a smell. Mm. Sweaty trainers. Ah, okay. Yeah. Oh, definitely. Sweaty trainers. <laughs> okay. Sweaty something. Leather. Sweaty bay. Very much leathery. Leathery. Can you pronounce that for me, please? Leathery. Thank you. I've got a little bit less than Bill. Oh. Coco. Heavy in a go-go. I just never fell asleep, it was a heavy. <laughs> hey, the rattler's got these. Get your schnozzle on the end there. You get the elephants again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. You've never, been, you've never been a really smart circus, haven't you? <laughs> no. No. <laughs> <laughs> I've been in Sandy Smarts, who's fixed his washing machine. <laughs> I've never been in Billy Smart circus fixed. They're talking duck boys, if you remember. Oh, right. That's a different yeah. story. Yeah, he's been very one, but they're talking duck. It's amazing. He travelled with Billy Smart Circus for Billy, years. <laughs> Billy Smart Circus for years. And he got paid off. No, 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 Okay, stop. Two giggly guys tonight. I'll tell you that, you don't like that, right? He's going to completely ruin it. That is, that is just elephant dung. That's the rabbit hutch, elephant dung, that thing going on there. It starts being hot. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to combat you with that dog joke. <laughs> I know. Duck. <clears throat> now here we go. It's uh <laughs> It's a, it's it's bugger. This thing's lumpy, like like the Siglo one. It's just bloody lumpy. It's just There's our marbles in this <laughs> Marbles. Marbles are marbles. He's got to be my boobs. ball bearings are swimming in here. Oh, it's so inconsistently lumpy. Slightly toothy. <laughs> Don't talk about tooth. I know. But I, you see, once again, the aroma of the single one, it's, it's all there. Lovely. I think, mind you, if this, if this smokes like a single one, I think I'd rather keep an elephant in my humidor. A single one. You've got a bigger humidor than I have, that's for sure. Well, Mind you, how big are baby elephants when they're born? No, I I reviews. Hey, <laughs> I it is Twitter I I reviews. How big are elephants when they're born? Probably still a bit three feet tall. I'm gonna fit in my humidor, that's for sure. Pardon me. I'm not gonna have baby elephant in my humidor. The draw is nice. Good. It's um, being serious, Steve, for a moment. Mm. It's actually the draw is very nice, pre-lit. Um, um, the oh. smell. I've just I've just lit up this mm. cigar. And mind you, remember, turn the cloth back to the previous one. I said exactly this the last time. The smell, the aroma is wonderful. I just hope this time, please, please, someone up there. Make this a good cigar. Should cohiba should be like every time you put a cohiba in your mouth, it should be beautiful, shouldn't it? Cohiba, you tell us. Why are we getting like the one and the two? 
Crap. Macaroon bar. <clears throat> How do you get macaroon bars from elephant's dung? I have mm. no idea. But that is what I'm tasting from the wrapper and the pre lit draw. Mm. And it's mm. again encouraging. Please. Very Please. encouraging. Please. Its initial tastes here are like. Again, I've said it before, but please. The initial tastes here are pure Cohiba tastes. 6.1, 42 girth. This is the Cohiba Siglo 3. The third in our journey on the Siglo 6 journey. Finishing off in about two weeks, no, four weeks time with a Siglo 6, which is the fat boy. We're now in the Slim Gym before we move into the slightly heavier girth ones, the 44s. And then up to the, it's almost 52, 56 girth, I think. Sorry, they, I'm miles away. No, you're okay, now. you're okay. Let's see, I bled up. I'm a Billy Smart Circus. You're working well. Thinking the elephants. But I hear what you're saying, mm -hmm. serious note. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. No serious note. Mm hmm. Mm. Well, that's interesting. Good. Now we'll take five. Mm hmm. Get yeah. into the opening, yeah. We'll get into the opening of the cigar. Mm -hmm. Initial tastes are definitely encouraging. I've got encouraging oh, tastes for time. you too, Bill. Mm -hmm. Fingers crossed, guys, please. Two different looking cigars, yeah. slightly different gaps, perhaps, yeah. we believe. And perhaps we've got two different cigars, flavour wise. Mm. If they're equally as good, not necessarily equally the same flavours. It doesn't have to be, as long as it's okay. a good, it should always be a consistently good cigar. It doesn't have to be exact and everything in the can, because mm. obviously the age will change the flavour. I think we've got two different aged cigars here, maybe a year, year and a half between them, perhaps. They ain't out in the same box, no, that's for sure. Enough. Absolutely. Go back to, roll the conversation back to, <laughs> to a previous review, perhaps. It was a sampler part we got of one to six, two of each cigars, single one to six, we weren't sure exactly which boxes they came from, which year, no, I'm not even sure which factory, no. but it doesn't matter, we'll find we're out. reviewing the cigars, as bought in the UK, oh, bought from yeah. the, the, the classic EMS, yeah. one of the best cigar suppliers, so we're not knocking the cigar supplier whatsoever, it's one of the best cigar suppliers in the mm. UK, online, it's EMS selection cigars, so we're not knocking anything to do with that. In the past, this is the future. I Promising. Very promising. We'll come back in a moment, folks. Oh, we pause. In a moment. Well, aye, aye, folks, shall we go back at the quaffin? Quaffin, actually, near the quaffin. The quaffin would be somewhere where you quaff. This is the coffin where you... <coughs> you'd cough with a cigar. Indeed. Beautiful cigar, beautiful drink, and one of the best mates you can ever get in the world. Hey, ditto. See? See? There you go. Ditto. That's what happens at the coffin. Not the quaffin. Quaffin's where you meet silly people. It's the coffin. Anyway. Where were you? How are we all? Let look. Okay. I'll start off. Because I'll be dear now to blether it anyway. Wonderful cigar. That's it. I'll just finish there. And I'll come back at the end of the third third. Because <laughs> it's been, it's been again. for a change, it's been very good. Flavours, taste, profiles, 100% cohiba, all the way down. I would guess that's. We haven't done any swappers. I reckon there's a. Cigar in your hand. Five years age on that cigar, personally. Lovely, beautiful. My inexperience tells me that I wouldn't know what age is in this cigar. Inexperience in the single range is, is virtually zero, hence the reason why we're reviewing them. Mm -hmm. So far, they've been rubbish, one and two, not going to go there much again tonight. Cigar three, different kettle of fish. Moving up. We're moving up. Like we're a moving flower. on. Oh, it's a, okay. Definitely. 
much, much better cigar, isn't it, Bill? Oh, mouth watering. Mouth watering. Good, good example. Good. Rounded. Rounded. Means it's, it just makes mm. your mouth water. Mm. Medium bodied. Mm -hmm. Delightful draw. Beautiful. Malty. Okay. Creamy. Creamy. Very, there you very go. Creamy. Moist. Back to mouth watering again. Definitely mouth watering. With a hint of wood bark. I ain't gonna go along the cherry wood or anything like that tonight. It's got this moistness. It's almost grassy. It's 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 grassy. Mm -hmm. They are grassy. Vegetal, pro perhaps maybe the word, okay. but a, a variety of vegetables out there. So we're going with the wood bark, grassy, but it ain't just cut grass in your lawn. It's dry grass, but not dry in the mouth. It's got this. Almost, perhaps maybe he. Hey. Hey, man. Cool dude. The fawns. You see my flick? <laughs> well, later. Knife. That's why he's not calling me knife tonight. <laughs> you keep on tempting me with your cut carrots, so we we'll can see how your flick knife goes <laughs> with your cut carrots. <laughs> no. No, no, no. No carrot jokes. Only duck jokes, you'll finish that one at the end. It, it, it'll be printed up. No, it'll be printed up. You'll just say it printed up. Oh, too long. <laughs> too long. Too long. If MD wants another duck joke, just tweet give us the tweet. Tweet us. Just a boozy bell hiccup. Tweet us. Right. Boozy bell hiccup. Boozy bell hiccup. A tweet. And I'll tweet you back with a duck joke. But I, I, I'm converted, Steve. Mm. I could be converted from no straight to no. I'm not gonna go there. I'm not homophobic. No. Nope. Tonight, best cigar in the world. Yep. It's how it should be. It yep. definitely is how it should be. It's a cohiba, proper cohiba. It's not a cohibo like the last two have been. This is a cohiba with every single flavour you would expect out of a cohiba. It's smooth, it's creamy, it's got vanilla, it's got all kinds of green, of grassiness, yeah, yeah, yeah. everything that you would expect, everything that you want in a cohiba. We haven't done any swaps yet, so it'll be interesting to see because we'll come back in the very, very finish and we'll have a, a little swap over and then we can see how different they are. And if they are different, maybe not. One's maybe more, I guess this is slightly more mature, mature and it'll be just... Mm. So we'll see. We'll see. Excited? Do I ever get excited? Seldom. Have you been with me in the cupboard yet? You see the, 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 the is there a, is there a, uh, 1956 cigar with a 1956 whiskey sitting right in the corner that you want me to bend over and see? <laughs> Well, I can introduce you to that carrot. I mm. could. <laughs> the carrot jokes are not happening. No, no, no. I don't get excited often, but I'm excited tonight. It's wonderful. Bell's the way to finish off. Speaking. Yeah. I've just finished. <laughs> Folks, here we go back in the puffet. We've got aye, boozy, <laughs> boozy Steve, serious Steve. Hang up! All of a sudden, what a great night! See, you just need friends. That's all you need, guys. You just need friends. A cup get cheap, only fifteen quid an hour. Just get you, <laughs> get you through everything, anything. Look at that! Look at that drink! Wonderful. Anyway, the cigar, it's been great for me, I mean it's just been more of the same, very good, um, proper cohiba tastes, flavours, I'm not going to, I'm not going to carry on or be mealy mood as we say in the northeast, 
-hmm. It's just so far out of the single range. This is right up there in the tops. I could smoke this. I could buy a box of these and smoke these every afternoon. So, in your opinion, my opinion, the single range mm -hmm. is starts up a notch. Starts at the number three. The si in the my opinion, the single uh, range yeah. starts at the number three. And I would have thought, really, if I'm being perfectly honest with you. I would I, actually I would have thought that's probably where it would have started because I'm not a small sized cigar smoker so you know maybe I was being a little unfair but sometimes they're not your tastes flavors whatever but I don't smoke small cigars normally I prefer something longer thinner sometimes but sometimes a bit more girth this is a classic classic siglo Thank you. Lovely. Well, we did have a swab off. Mm -hmm. Forgot about that. No, no, no. no. I think that's what we should. With Find out. Five hours of boozing behind us. That's probably this uh, video with. <laughs> so give out. There you go. We we suggest and suggest. Yeah, but nonetheless, boozy head on our night. I would agree with Steve. We have had a swap up, as I did say. Steve's is slightly tighter than draw, but makes no difference. It's still pleasant. But they're slightly, they are two different cigars once again. Steve airs on, he believes, is more aged mm -hmm. than this one. No reason to disbelieve that because, again, I'll say they are a sample pack. They give you two different boxes, you can kick around in the back of our supplier's humidor. I mean, again, the colour, the slight different girth would probably suggest that they ain't yeah. the same box. But if, if this cigar is anything to go by, the rest of this thing will three range, then I would buy a box. Because it's got everything I wanted in a cigar. Me too. I'll tell you how, how good it is. Okay. I haven't been thinking about it in no, the past right. 15 minutes. And that makes a difference. I've been it? smoking it, yeah. and we've been blathering, we've been having a drink, and enjoying it. And enjoyment is just not having to think about it. The draw goes over your mouth. Exactly. Exactly what Billy's saying. The draw just goes in, it goes over your mouth, it fills your mouth full of flavour. Whichever one was, you know, if it's Billy's or mine. Delightful. It just fills your mouth full of flavours. There's not, you don't need to say anything sometimes. No, no. And that's when it just becomes, you know you're smoking a nice cigar that hits your flavour profile. I've just really enjoyed this one, thankfully. Excuse me? Excuse me? Leave this all the way with. We got a hit. And that says it all. We got a hit. And the coconut ice coming on you, I better just uh, don't Probably we'll be shut down. Somebody will be. <laughs> <laughs> advertising in the back of this window. I know. I, I think um, I, I've got about another 10 minutes this cigar to go. I'm going to mm -hmm. enjoy it without mm -hmm. having to think about it much more. Mm -hmm. So, scores now, doors. Well, I'm in the 90s. I'm going to put this back up to the 90s. All of a sudden, we've got a jump from like zero to hero here, but it is. Mm. This would be a classic smoke, afternoon smoke, early evening smoke, late evening smoke, whatever you want. Could be drunk with champagne. I'm not, I, I think it's got to be drunk with a lighter thing or a cocktail like we've been drinking it with tonight. Tequila cocktails we've been on tonight. Crazy cocktails. The lighter, icier flavours, not the not the ports, not the whiskies. This has got to be drunk with a so. Dare I give it a 93.1? Because I'm going to save the 93 point something else for the number four, the five, and hopefully we'll get up there when it's. Excuse me, I got an anybody to get up here. So there you go, that's me. Wonderful, thank you, great. Thank you for nothing. I'll be happy. 
No, but thank you for the uh, filming. See, and, uh, no way. Uh, Friends and influence people. Mr. Boy. Uh, you, ne you never even let me go to the makeup department tonight either. Did you comb your chest there? Uh, I know. See, you love all that to go out with. My, my own mind. And I've seen his fluffy bottom. He hit the right <laughs> one about. Anyway, 92 for me. Route 2 and I'm out. Route 2, me too.